Hello everyone, this is Raghunath from Sinta Academy. Today we are going to discuss about a problem from ISI 2024 objective. Let's go into the problem. Here we have the problem number 26 of ISI 2024 objective paper. So there are four options and one of them is correct. Let's try to solve it. They have given that the equation az plus bz bar plus c equal to 0 represents a straight line. Suppose let's say the straight line is not parallel to the x-axis. Let it intersect x-axis at some point t whose coordinate be t comma 0. Which means it should satisfy the equation given that is z equal to t is a root of the equation. So we also need to prove the existence of such root. We will come to that later. First, let's assume that this is true. If you substitute z equal to t, where t is a real number, let's remember that t is a real number, you would get at plus bt bar plus c equals 0, which implies that c is minus at minus bt bar. Substituting this back into the original equation, we get az plus bz bar minus at minus bt bar equals 0. So let's group together the like terms. We get a times z minus t is equal to minus b times z minus t the whole bar. So I have just used the fact that z bar minus t bar is z minus t the whole bar. Let's substitute some complex number s in place of z minus t to get a s equals minus b s bar where s is equal to z minus t. Remember since z and t are complex numbers s will also be a complex number and clearly from here if you take modulus both sides we would get mod a into mod s is equal to mod of minus b is mod b so let me just write as mod b times mod of s bar but we know that mod of s and mod of s bar are equal because they are just complex conjugates so their magnitude will always be equal because if you take x is, e s is equal to x plus i y and s bar will be x minus i y and the magnitudes will be root of x square plus y square for both. This clearly implies that mod a equals mod b. So which was given in one of the options. But let's proceed further as there are more options that might be correct. So now remember that mod a equal to mod b will imply that a and b have same magnitude and those get cancelled to have s is equal to minus e power 2i theta into s bar and where I assumed that a is equal to some r into e power minus i theta and b is equal to r into e power i theta. So this implies that s is a straight line. This implies that s is a straight line passing through origin and I know that s is equal to z minus t or equivalently z is equal to s plus t and we would get that z represents a straight line passing through t comma 0. So this is also sufficient condition and we got a mod a equal to mod b being necessary condition and remember that we assumed at first that the line intersects x axis at t comma 0 that is there exists a point t comma 0 satisfying that given equation. So let's prove that such a point exists indeed. So for existence of such a point we would need a t plus b t bar plus c equals 0 where t is a real number. Remember even if the line is parallel to x axis you can consider the intercept of it with the y axis and proceed with the same procedure. So we would get t bar is equal to t and that implies t is equal to minus c by a plus b and I want the existence of t which means this number c by a plus b must be a real number and what's the condition for real number that number must equal its conjugate that is c bar by a bar plus b bar or equivalently one can say that c by c bar is equal to a plus b by a bar plus b bar but we already got mod a equal to mod b which means mod a squared is equal to mod b square which is true if and only if a a bar is equal to b b bar and that is true if and only if a by b bar is equal to b by a. Now by the componendo dividendo rule, the componendo dividendo rule, one can easily extend the equal ratios to the sum of them or you can also consider difference of them but here summation will be more helpful. So this ratio is also equal to a plus b by 
a bar plus b bar. Thus, I can substitute a plus b by a bar plus b bar with b by a bar. And let's do that. I need to have c by c bar is equal to a plus b by a bar plus b bar. But that is equivalent to saying that c by c bar is equal to b by a bar. And which is equivalent to saying that c a bar is equal to b c bar. Thus, if we have the condition that the magnitudes are equal along with this condition that is c a bar equal to b c bar, we will then have that line to intersect the x axis as well as that line will actually represent a line with equal angle made with the x axis as we saw earlier. Thus, this is both necessary and sufficient condition. So, the answer for this question would be option D that is mod A equal to mod B which is non-zero and C A bar equal to B C bar. The moduli being non-zero is simply because if the modulus is zero you will get constant equal to zero and that wouldn't represent a line. So, we will upload the document in the description. You can access from there. We will meet in the next video. Thank you.